Hey, what's going on everybody? LAPD Code 3 here. Welcome back to another episode of LSPDFR. And today, guys, day two of our Project LAX demonstration. Today we're going to be featuring and showcasing the 2016 Caprice by Bavar now. I think I said it right. Uh, I know I didn't credit Officer Underwood for the FPIU in yesterday's episode, so I apologize for that. I hope that nobody can, uh, you know, scold me for that one. But uh, yeah, today, guys, as you can see, we've got a nice little slow 360 degree view. This is the LAX Caprice. This thing came out amazing. Uh, yesterday, I was asked if we are going to be making slick top models of this, uh, the LAX project. I, had, I know I responded with no or not yet, but after seeing a slick top model on Flickr, I just realized that, yeah, you know what? I think I will be adding a slick top version of this as well as. Uh, if I can down the road I would probably do a crown wig version just to see how it does because I, I don't know what the lights they use for the slick top model so if anybody out there who's a LA or California expert man you guys can post in the comments below what they use so that I can actually see if I can find it and install it there but uh, yeah guys let's go have a look at the interior right quick uh, let's have a look inside same computer uh, interior looks amazing Love the uh, Satina bar. Let's go ahead and have a look at the trunk real quick so to show you what we got in the trunk. Uh, using the Crown Vic, I believe I'm using the Crown Vic uh, compartment for this one. Oh no, not I'm sorry, not the Crown Vic compartment, but uh, just comes with the standard Caprice compartment area in the back. So I'm gonna just put a riot shield there, toolkit, fire extinguisher, yellow tape, uh, no stop sticks. But uh, like I said, it's still in beta, so testing it when I can. Uh, we'll probably get to it eventually. So yeah, let's go ahead and get the lights in, stage one, stage two, same same pattern as the FPIU. All right, and we're still using the same siren, uh, Unitrol Mega 90. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and get into the episode. And if you guys are new to the channel, you like what you see, man, let's go ahead and hit that subscribe, smash the like in this video, leave some comments down below. Let's try to get the subscribe count to 500 so we can open the communities tab and I can keep up with you guys. And you guys can keep up with me on all my latest stuff. And with that being said, 11 Adam 29, show me 10-8. Copy that, 11 Adam 29, proceed to patrol area. All right, let's go. Um, and Los Santos International Airport. Looks like we got a suspicious passenger at LAX. Uh, looks to be Amsterdam NL or LA. All right, so it looks like flight. All right, we gotta go find this flight then. Let's go see where they are. So we have a suspicious passenger. Let's go ahead and make sure that ho hopefully all flights are grounded until I get across this tarmac on the runway. I'm sorry, guys. I'm still waking up over here. And I left my seatbelt off. That's rude. <laughs> That's rude. Usually I don't drive with my seatbelt off, but in this case, it's happening. <laughs> Hope everybody's having a wonderful Monday. Uh, happy Monday to a lot of you guys out there. Happy first of the month. Some of you are probably cashing in your social security checks at this point. <laughs> uh, as for me, I'm probably just I'm just over here just uh, relaxing, enjoying another day. Another day, another dollar, right? Okay, so looks like it's going to be this one over here. Capira, Capira Airlines. I'm guessing this is... Uh, Brazilian airliner looks like a looks like a airliner from Brazil let me know what you guys let me know in the comment section guys if this is a I believe this is a Brazil Airlines all right let's go see what's going on here 11 8 29 show me on scene 10-4 copy as you guys can also tell we're using the LAPD uh, three beep tones the uh, alert tones made by Machu modifications so thank you Machu all right, sir, what's going on here? You the captain? All right, so what's going on? Uh, this is very suspicious. Uh, he's talked about being involved with terrorism on the plane. Uh, can you do a back? Can, all right, I'll do a background check just to be sure, okay? His name is Jonathan Bowman. All right. Uh, well, I'll definitely have a talk with him as well just to see, okay? Dispatch, can I get a 1027 for a Jonathan Bowman? John is a Dutch cop not wanted. Ex-cop not wanted, okay. Dutch cop. Let's go ahead and have a talk with him. Okay. Jonathan Bowman? 
Are you a former Dutch cop? Okay. All right. So we we're just wondering because in what way are you involved with terrorism? Or are you by any chance part of a counterterrorism unit or something? As a police officer. Okay. All right. Well, next time, just don't bring that up in the conversation when you talk to somebody. Okay. You don't want to alert the people out here. Out here, it can be very dangerous if you talk about that. You know, you can get a lot of people panicked and startled. Okay. All right, man. You're good to go, man. Guess we didn't have to call uh, SWAT or anything. Eleven out of twenty-nine. Show me clear. Ten four. All right. So that's gonna be a code four, guys, and we're gonna get uh, back to the airport. We've got a suspect on the run in Los Santos International. Got reports of a stolen vehicle in the area. We'll check it out. Eleven Adam twenty-nine. Show me en route. 10-4, copy. 11, Adam, 29. Alright, he looks to be in the tar inside the runway, so we're gonna go ahead and try to get around it. Come on, guys, move, move, move. He looks to be inside the runway, so we're gonna need officers and helicopters out here just to make sure we're uh, grounding all the air units, any airplanes getting out of the tarmac. Where's he going? Hold on. I'm trying to get through this without damaging the car, but it looks like it's not gonna open, so screw it. Okay, there he is. Uh 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 uh. No, no, no. Oh, he's running. Alright, let's get a couple of other units out here and let's get an air unit out. Backup needed in, uh, Los Santos International Airport. Copy, 11 out of 29 in pursuit. Four in Charlie 4 here, he's going east, copy. Where you going, buddy? Where you going? Where you going? What the hell kind of car is that? They call it an SC-1? I don't know if that's supposed to be the... The Sesto Elemento, uh, the Lamborghini Sesto Elemento, or is that the Centenario? Not even sure anymore. Come on, buddy, where you going? Move, 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 move. Oh my goodness. Where are you going? Block him, block him, block him, block him. Block him. Oh, sh... Okay. I think he's stuck in a loop right now. He's only driving in cert. He keeps going off, like... All right, we're gonna stop him right here. Where are you going? There we go. Backup needed. Suspect's license plate. We got a spike ship waiting ahead of him. Here we go. He's gonna ram it. Boom. Gotcha, bitch. You're done. Come on, where are you going? Dispatch, we got eyes on the target. Moving to engage. You're done. The suspect He's got a gun. Point. I think he had a gun on him. Show me your hands, buddy. Give yourself up. Where do you think you're going? Stay right where you are. Do not move. Do not move. Holy cow. I got your cover. We are code four. The hell were you thinking, man? Driving this vehicle out here like that. You could have caused a huge wreckage out here. Do you have any idea? You could have done some serious damage. Whose car is that? You don't know? Alright. Hi. Hopefully. Hopefully all flights are grounded until we can get the situation resolved. I'm not trying to get ran over with a damn Boeing coming out of nowhere in the air. Uh, fake police badge, seal needle, full of morphine, an ounce baggie of white powder. Joe Franklin. 
All right, let's go ahead and get our test kit out. We'll go ahead and do this. So we know he's got morphine on one, but I want to see what this white powder is. Probably cocaine or methamphetamine. Looks like it's neither one. Okay. Heroin. Okay. So distribution. So carrying heroin. Let's check the car. Never seen this one before. I don't really play GTA Online anymore, so I've never seen this vehicle before. It's pretty nice. It's like definitely something I would have played online with. Oh, we got a gun. We got two guns here. One in the trunk, one in the... Driver's side, one in the pa and a passenger side. He's got a small bag of Valium and a screwdriver, which I'm sure he used to uh, start the car with. So we got it on possession of burglary tool. Let's go ahead and run the weapon as well. It's 3D printed Navy revolver and a 50 caliber pistol, a Desert Eagle. These are both his, okay. All right, let's run ahead and run him real quick. We'll get a transport out for him and a tow truck out here for this. Since I'm using the felony stop plugin by OJ Does It, there's a reason why they won't take him into custody because it's a glitch in the system that if you per that prevents them, if you use them as your backup, it crashes the game, so. They have a setting inside the INI that for the OJ does it that tells you to, you need to disable that in the stop the pet plugin. Otherwise, uh, it, it crashes the game. So, so let's see here. So right now we'll get him for resisting arrest. Piece of shit. Uh, traffic offenses, felony, aggravated attempt to elude law enforcement officer, uh, hit and run. Um, couldn't well, I could say street racing, but hit and run will definitely do it. For the firearm weapons, we got him on possession of firearm and commission of a felony. Um, commission of a felony. Possession of a 3D weapon. Thank you. All right. Let's see what else we got him for. Possess the drug charges we found on him. Possession of morphine and heroin. Where is the morphine? Oh, here we go. Morphine, morphine. All right. And I believe that's pretty much everything there. Yeah, grand stolen vehicle, possession of stolen vehicle, and burglary tools. Go ahead and dismiss everybody, and we'll go ahead and get a uh, tow truck out for this. Uh, we're gonna flatbed out. Flatbed assistance required in Los Santos International. All right, guys. So that's code for it. We're gonna go ahead and uh, head back to the station for uh, till we wait for another call. We have in Los Santos International Airport. We've got a dangerous plane spotter. All right, we'll take it. We got a call from LAX ATC that a plane spotter is dangerously too close to the airport, possibly inside the runway. 11 Adam 29, show me your route. 10 copy that. 11 Adam 29. Not even sure, even remotely, how I'm gonna get past this, but I guess we'll go into the airport and uh, get on the get inside the get inside the runway and see if maybe we can go from there. So yeah, guys, uh, I finally managed to uh, finish both this vehicle and the Ford Explorer. We finally installed the antennas today on it. I had some working antennas thanks to Billy J modifications. Uh, his antennas were awesome, so I was able to install those into the Ford. I was using Motorola ones, but apparently they were causing a lot of bugs and they were not preventing my cars from spawning. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to get those in there, but I did install some by Billy J. So thank you, Billy J, for that.
Oh god, we're gonna do this again. Oh, my paint. <laughs> Wish there was a way I can get those to open. Let's go ahead and get the lights on so that way they'll know we have an emergency on on the runway. A plane spotter now. I wonder where he's hiding at. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and call a code to backup when I arrive just to make sure that he's not doing anything in case he has a weapon or something. I don't wanna be the only one on, I don't wanna be the only one out here when it goes off. There we go. Let's go ahead and get a code two backup. Eleven eight twenty nine requesting code two backup. Ten four copy. Love that dispatch tone. Well done, Machu. Well done. Oh. All right, here we go. I'm backing you up. All right, cool. Rookie, where's your boo? That's a rookie cop. Where's your? Where's your, where's your training officer? <laughs> All right. Excuse me, sir. Oh, he's running. Hey, Code come here. All units respond. Right, let's get a taser on. Sir, stop running. You're not good. There's nowhere to go, man. Stop running. Stop running. You're going to get tased, man. I'm warning you. Taser, taser, taser. Stay right where you are, man. Show me your hands now. Stay right where you are. On your knees now. On your knees. Hands behind your head. Interlock your fingers. Do not reach for anything. Damn, she was slow you as hell. Right to shut the hell up. She was barely running. Alright, let's go. Go ahead and run it back to the car instead of just walking all this. This is way too long of a walk. <laughs> all right. All right. You got anything? Got anything in your pockets, man? Anything that's gonna stab you? Put stick me guns, drugs, knives, explosives, anything like that. Large baggie of magic mushrooms and eight ounce of brown powder. Stefan West. Not sure where she's going. She's taking a long way around this. All right, let's go ahead and do a uh, field test on this. See what it is. Well, last time we checked, it was heroin. So let's see. Winner, winner, winner. Okay, an eight ounce of white powder, of oh, brown powder, excuse me. All right. So you're gonna talk to me, man, about what, why you were doing that? Okay, so why, so why'd you run? Be a lot safer. Buddy, I don't think I like the way you said that, bro. <laughs> I'm on it. I got you covered. Why were you why were you spotting so close? You really he's threatening me now. You really he's threatening me. He's threatening me right now. You guys saw that. <laughs> Alright, so why are you threatening me, man? You want a lawyer? No problem. It's within your right. <laughs> Alright, let's get a transport out for him. Assistance required in Los Santos International. I don't know why you're doing that, man. Could have just as easily, if I could have just easily just come with us. You would have got a ticket, maybe not, maybe a warning. 
But you had to go and run from us. Hey there. All right, man. This officer will be taking you in. All right. Have a nice day. It's cool. I'll cover. All right. Twenty-nine years old. No priors. No tickets. Nothing. Not even on probation or parole. Well, now he's about to get his first charge. All right now we got him on. Oh God. Criminal trespassing, private, private, because he's spotting from a dangerous area. We're gonna get him for resisting arrest, nonviolent, and possession of a controlled substance, which was the heroin we found on him. All right. So Stefan West will be going to jail, guys. That's a code four, and uh, we're gonna get back on patrol. We have gunfire reported in Los Santos International Airport. Got a person with a firearm at LS uh, at LAX. Let's go see. Stop the suspect at any cost. The question is, where is he? Oh, he's not too far from here. Okay, let's go ahead and uh. Hold up. Hold on. Come on. I want to be careful here not to piss them off. This is a good spot right here. Three out of eleven out of twenty nine to dispatch. <laughs> Officer needs help. Ten four, copy that. Eleven out of twenty nine. Let's go ahead and get a couple officers out here. Assistance needed in Los and we'll get in LAXU just in case something really bad goes wrong. Let's go ahead and get our uh, shotgun out just in case. Actually, you know what? We'll grab our rifle instead. Adam 4, copy. Let's go ahead and shut this road down. Anybody else preventing anybody else from getting hurt out here? Get cover, man. I want to wait. I want to wait it out until everyone gets here before we start making an approach and go for the arrest. Because if that person starts shooting at us, then it's, at this point, it's killer be killed. Where the hell, SWAT? Oh, they're on the way. They're just late to the party as usual. There you guys are. You're late. All right, here we go. What the hell is she doing with an auto You're rifle? Good. How the hell did she get past security with that shit? Alright, we got her here. Ma'am, put the weapon down. Los Angeles Airport Police, put it down now. LSPD, get down on the ground! You heard him. Get down on the ground now. Put the weapon down. Let me see those hands! Drop the gun. Drop the gun. I can't. Heh. <laughs> LSPD, hands up! Drop the gun now. 
Oh, she's got another one. What the hell? All right. Got the weapon and the evidence. Okay. All right. Come on. Unbelievable. I thought she was going to end up shooting at me if we got any closer, but I guess not. So, thank God for that. All right, let's have her pat her down. Hello. Mm, a female Come officer. Fire. See what else she's got on her. And uh, we'll get a serial number check on the weapon. Damn, large baggie of colored pills. A 3D printed uh, SNS pistol. Set of lockpicks and some blotter paper. Julia Alba. All right. So we gotta do all this stuff. Large bag of colored pills and a gun, and some blotter paper. Usually it's LSD or fentanyl, but so it's most likely gonna be LSD, uh, fentanyl, blotter paper. Nope, it's LSD. Good. Okay. So let's see. Ecstasy and LSD. There it is. Psycho uh, psychedelic pills. Oh, the weapon. Let's go ahead and do the weapon, too. Both weapons. Okay, that's Julius. That one's stolen from Amora Santos. Okay. All right, let's get her out of here. We got her charges in. Assistance required in Los Santos International Airport. Okay, so right now we got her on a few charges. Let's see. LSD. And well, let's see Molly's. Okay, then we got her on the weapons. One for stolen. So possession of a 3D firearm, illegal possession of an automatic weapon. Uh, stolen possession of a stolen fire weapon. So let's see. Legal possession of dangerous weapon. We got her in uh, brandishing the firearm. And possession of a stolen firearm. And possession of a fireman commission of a felony. Alright. Let's go ahead and dismiss everybody. That was, that was a pretty good one, guys. <laughs> Alright, so Julia Alba will be going to jail today. Possibly getting charged in federal prison time for what she did. Uh, so that's code for it, guys. We're going to go ahead and head to the station and do our court cases. Oh, what the hell here? What the hell happened here? Okay, I'm going to deny. I'm going to disregard this truck here. Hold on a second. What is going on here? That's supposed to be parked on the other side of the... Okay. Let's go ahead and park it right here. Same place, I think, as last time. Oh, it just spawns again. Okay, whatever. I'm just going to leave it alone. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's go ahead and do our court cases for the day. Let's see who we bust. Who's our most valued perp of the day? We got three people we busted. Joe Franklin, who had aggressive attempt... Uh, aggravated attempt to elude law enforcement, hit and run, resisting arrest, possession of heroin and morphine, a stolen vehicle, and possession of burglary tools. Uh, not to mention the weapons we found on him, possession of a firearm and undetectable firearm. 17 years and six months in prison. Ooh, Julia Alba might have to might have competition on this one. So he's gonna be doing several se 7,000 in fines. Oh boy, that's a lot for him, Just Joe Franklin. Stefan West, 
He got him for resisting arrest, criminal trespassing, and possession of heroin. Uh, he's only going to be doing 11 months in prison. He was found not guilty of the possession of heroin. Okay. And Julia Alba has possibly the same charges as Joe Franklin. Mostly the same, about the same amount of charges, eight charges altogether. Uh, possession of LSD, MDMA, stolen firearm, commission of felony, possession of a commission of a felony, legal possession of automatic weapon, undetectable firearm, brandishing the firearm, and illegal possession of dangerous weapons. So yeah, seven years in prison. So it looks like Joe Franklin is our most valued perp of the day, beating her at uh, more than more years in prison, double the years in prison than she's going to be doing. So they probably only gave her a slap on the wrist because she's a woman. But uh. That's just, I guess that's just how the court system in LS works. So, yeah, that's going to do it for our court cases, guys. And that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy the 2016 Caprice. As I said, once the vehicle pack is done, it'll be uh, released on LSPDFR.com. It is an ELS single player only vehicle pack. And I uh, hope you guys will take the time to download it and give it a try yourself when it's ready. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys are new to the channel, like I said, go ahead and hit that subscribe, smash like on this video. Leave some comments down below. Feedback's always appreciated. Stay safe out there this week, guys. Uh, happy first of the month, and I'll catch you on the next episode.